amazing. We got the call yesterday, and like I, I couldn't fall asleep last night. It was so exciting. A young goalie gets all his stolen equipment replaced as two hockey cities notorious for their rivalry put aside their differences to make a difference. At Edmonton, a volunteer organization handed over the equipment to the Calgary Flames while they were there this weekend for the Battle of Alberta against the Oilers. On Thursday morning, the Irving family's vehicles were both stolen. First thought was, I'm pretty sure we parked in the garage. And then the second thought was, oh no, all the hockey equipment's in there. Their son Jack had practice that night, and the Crowfoot Minor Hockey Association that he plays for put out a call on Facebook for anyone who could lend him gear until it was replaced. Comrie Sports donated a helmet, but it was a volunteer organization in Edmonton that had the pads Jack needed. And at Saturday's game in Edmonton, the equipment was handed off to the Flames. And so when we heard that a kid was being held back from playing hockey, we don't care uh, where he's from, even if it's from a, a rival, rival city, and our teams are battling it out on the ice at Rogers Place. The visiting Flames grabbed the bag and hauled it down the highway to bring it to Jack, who showed up to practice at the Saddle Dome. It, it feels like not too long ago I was a little guy like that, and... Um, I never got the opportunity to come into a, an NHL room, so I think he appreciates it, and obviously he's happy. And um, it's it's the little things like this that uh, that make this league so so special. What's up? Jack. Jack, what's up? They call me Smith Dog. <laughs> and while he's grateful for an Edmonton organization stepping up, this Calgary boy isn't too keen on lending his skills to the Oilers. Tim, would you ever maybe like return the favor, getting goal for the Oilers? Because I think. I don't know. Good luck. Have fun. In Calgary, Crystal Adaris, City News.